Hello and welcome back to some more of Nisha Machine for Pigs with me Triple S. Guessing we're getting close to trying to save our kids. We have to go down here. Oh, this looks fun. This looks ever so fun. My torch keeps flashing. Ah! Fuck you. Oh! Oh, goodbye, pigman. Don't come back. I saw a pigman run away. He ran off down there. And we've got to follow him, apparently. Because that's the same thing to do. Please don't be around here, pig man. Please have gone home. Okay, we're down or up? I'm going up. Why is there flashing lights outside? Oh! Oh, a van just went past. Oh! Hear me, Mantis. I am compromised. Our contacts must be brief and occasional. Beware the wretches who populate this compound. The way you seek is under the pistons. When you meet the saboteur, you will understand everything. Oh, a note. Each compartment is ergonomically designed with a feed through at one end so the product naturally settles into a position ready for the <coughs> pardon me is that stunning arms to connect to the skull we use the natural static charge built up by the friction of the cats against the belt to build an electrical charge which are contained within glass vacuum canisters at the side of the stunning arm mechanisms and delivered along the stun arms via copper cabling we've observed that the artificial lightning contained within these canisters seems to calm the product further Post stunning, the line tilts sharply to the vertical, the physics of which tips the stunned product upwards to fall directly onto the hook of the bleeding light. This hook passes normally through the haunch or thigh of the product, and from this point we dispense with the belt and instead instigate a channel of floor which creates a funnel allowing blood and byproduct excretions to collect and run to the fluid collection tanks. So they basically just drained stuff or whatever maybe I don't think there's much else we can do up here oh can we go out I bet it's locked locked guessing that leaves only one way down here could they make any more noise Well, that looks fucking fun. Grouch, Mandus. Oh, great. I'm boxing here. Go with me if you want to live. Okay, so that one's on. So this one isn't on. Look at the textures, fuck's sake. Now it's on. There's coal everywhere. Okay, that did something, maybe. Jesus, fuck, it's raining outside. I wonder what the fuck that noise was on my window. Yeah, let's just keep those noises outside. Ah, what the fuck? Well, something knocked me then. One and five are on. Three is not. 
Four and two. Oh, I just turned two on. Six is not on. Oh, there's a note here. A series of collecting vents have been installed along the ceiling at the stage of the line. The process is stunning and bleeding. The product often expels stinking vapors from its digestive system, which can be collected, condensed, and used in the methane boiler to drive the engines as a whole. Drive the engines? Like fuel? Maybe that's the fuel that was used for the the van that we moved. He said it wasn't. It didn't smell like petroleum or something like that, I think. In this way, the more product is processed, the more power becomes available to the machine, and productivity is actually increased. It's simply a stroke of genius, but one that encapsulates the benefits of self regulatory automation. So it can just run itself by just processing stuff and then powering itself. What the fuck? Well, falls on. The one here, the one over here. Yeah, there is. Three is not on. It's in there, I'm guessing. Aha! What's in there all on? Just number six we are missing. Or. Oh, five, six. That's. That's six. Is there any more. Is there any more coal? Will this work with just one coal? I guess not. We need more coal. There's some over here. Oh, there's some. Fuck off with the noises. Another journal entry. Fire and steel. The fires are stoked, assuming the same architecture is responsible here as with the chemical plant, I surmise that a centralised control system regulates and operates the pistons. It should be a simple matter of finding it and hoping the saboteur relented after simply extinguishing the fires. I thought I saw something before with levers or something. Goodbye, frame rate. Big head! What's there something in here with levers? Yes, there was. Stop! Are your furnaces fueled? I believe so. Okay, I just turned something on. Making a lot of noise. The lights have gone out. I don't think it made more sense to go backwards. Forwards, maybe? Oh, fuck. I don't want to go forwards anymore. Wonder. And out. That probably feels uh -huh. yeah, well. It's down here. Why does it have to be so dark? Oh shit, I think I actually know this place. It may die. I think I know this place. Can I jump on that? I guess not. Hmm. 
Where? Where is it? Hiding. 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 Oh fuck. Where the fuck do I go? Here? Can't be here. No! Go away! I'm not seeing the pig anywhere. Where's the pig? Towards the light. My heart is beating. I may not sound scared, but my heart is beating like shit. Have I gone in a circle? I just came from there, didn't I? Fuck's sake. I think I just went in a circle. Fuck me. You didn't see anything. You did not see anything. That way. I'm going that way. I'm going this way. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh Jiminy Christmas. Ah! You can look at the monsters in this game, they don't make you go insane, so... Oh shit! Ah! You look fucking ugly. I'm not here. Goodbye. Goodbye. This way? Ouch. Journal. Oh, the descent. Haha. <laughs> what did that dark voice instruct me to do? Under the pistons, into the tunnels, and onto the bilge pumps. And if the doors should be locked, I will have to find another means of descent. I cannot trust him, but my path is set. I shall ignore those noises, that snuffling, those shuffling steps below me. I will brave other looks beneath, and I will save them. <laughs> this is gonna hurt. Oh, no, it didn't hurt. Oh. Okay. Oh, there's a note. I'll read this last note and then end off for this episode. <laughs> Jesus fuck. The crate arrived this morning and I, and I had it delivered directly into the world. Oh, I think I know this note. I think I read about it. The body is remarkably preserved, although there is a subtle yet nauseating stench of damp and rot. rot. It is humanoid in shape, but has suffered severe skeletal deformity. Remnants of leather straps encase the torso, which is deformed with evidence of substantial muscle mass and displacement. Muscle mass and displacement. It is difficult to ascertain whether this unfortunate is a recipient of some barbarous surgery or was born deformed, and an attempt to force his now body into some semblance of humanity was made. What he is? cannot tell, but I smell the orb upon him, and suspect my great uncle's presence in his curious condition. So it can be done. 
We can reshape the body into a tool, accelerate the processes of Mr. Darwin's evolution, but here my great uncle and I part company. He chose men as the subjects of his experiments, but men are difficult to control and rotten with sentimentality. No, we require a new creature for our chattels, loyal, clever, clever, strong, and easily sated. I read about this. That sounds like he got a... It was either a grunt or a brute from the first game, the ones that had leather straps on them. I think it might have been brutes. It sounds like he got one of them delivered to him in a crate, and his great uncle could either be the bad guy of the first game, Alexander, I think he was called, or it could be Daniel, because both Alexander and Daniel had orbs. The orbs was some weird mystical thing or something. And apparently this guy, whoever wrote this, it could be us, I think, this guy knows about the orbs. So I think the orbs are playing into this story somehow, and this is how this game links back to the other game. Possibly through the orbs, and also he got a grunt delivered to him, and he's related to somebody. But either way, I think I might end off here. This seems like a, a decent place to end off. It feels safe around here, no pigmen about. Holy shit. That was tense. Holy fuck. Right, anyway. Thank you for watching. I will see you all next time. So goodbye.